That guys, you can hear me. That guys, you can hear me. Please drop some ones in the chat box. Let me see. If I don't see up to 30 ones there, I'm not saying anything. I'll just carry myself and go. One, two, three. Only three people. Four. I'm only seeing four. I'm only seeing four. Just four. Okay, six now. I'm counting uh, seven, only seven. Ah, but like I'll just be going, you know, I'm just carrying my own knowledge and try and keep it to one side, my family members. Okay, okay, let's go. Ah, come on. Number plenty. <laughs> okay. okay, let me share my screen, guys. Okay. Ah, I'm still seeing it too. I don't know where everybody run to. Have you guys just joined and then left the Zoom? I don't understand what was happening. Okay, guys. Um, I have a list of things I want to talk about first before I start anything here. Uh, these are the things I'm going to talk about in this training section. That's the trend of the market. One, that one is very, very important. Like, you know, you don't trade against the trend of the market. Then they also talk about the candlestick Bible. I don't know, a lot of you ignore the candlestick Bible. Please, if you have the candlestick Bible in your phone, please drop some tools in the chat box. Let me know. The candlestick Bible, that's our candlestick Bible. A lot of people ignore that Bible a lot, but there's a lot of information there that you guys don't know about yet. Shall I just disclose one or two to you people so that you know what I'm talking about? I'm just seeing only three people, though. This is one, two, three. Ha. Yeah, I'll count to hello. Okay. Okay, guys, let me. Yeah, so I'll talk about the candlestick Bible, then good markups and trading view, then different types of candlesticks, then key support and resistance in the market. Yeah, you guys, you guys know about Ivan Cabra, but I'll turn it on later when I'm done with at least three or two. I'll turn on my Ivan Cabra. So if you know how to find the trend of the markets. Please drop some ones, let me know too. And if you don't, drop some zeros. Let me know if I'll skip that part and jump to the next one. Uh, you guys, you know about the trend of the market now. So no need to explain that one. Or oh, just one person, okay, two. If I see four people, then I'll talk about it. Okay, 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 okay. No problem. Okay. Okay, guys, see, this is one thing I've been missing about the trend of the market here now. Now, if you can enter your five minutes, zoom out, that zoom out, zoom out. I don't know if your own trading view, but Shai can use my own with the trend line. There's one thing you guys don't know yet about this thing now. This is the chart for the day. We are not looking at three weeks ago or two days ago. If you look well, this is where, let me say today started from, that started from here, yeah, well, let's say here. This is where it started from. So now for you now to draw your trend, you actually start from that day. I'm not actually drawing well here, but you actually start from that day to know what's actually happening in the market. So this ADJPY, so throughout the ADJPY, I was just doing what, so just selling. Now, if you still go back to 15 minutes, please guys look at the time, you know, so you know that's from 12 o'clock at 11, that's when the market used to open like. So you look at it there, that from that 12 down. There's something you can't hear me. Just hope you guys can still hear me. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so guys, if you look at the 15 minutes now, 
Now you mark off from that day, that very day. That's where you guys make a lot of mistakes. Some people now they don't even know when the day starts. Me, to me, I don't enter the market till like two, but I see the market that is open from 12. That's 12 a.m. That's Nigerian time. So if you check from there, from that particular time down, don't look at the previous day. Forget the previous day. That's from the timing. That's the timing that is here. That's where the timing is. You look at this downside. Let me tell you this. This downside, there, where that 13 is, that's where it actually started from. Start drawing down. This is 15 minutes. If you still go back to one hour still, you find out that from that same day too, the market has actually just been trending down. Like throughout today, it's just going down. If you understand this particular thing, please, if you get this particular one, let me know, please indicate. If you understand that part, I want me to go back. Please indicate, let me know. If you get it, drop some yes. If you don't, then no. I take time to explain everything to everybody. Ah, you don't understand. Uh, Jennifer. Okay. Wait, guys, please, even if it's one person that says no, please, I want to drop back for the person to understand. Um, this iPhone user, please change your name or please be cool. Okay, um, Jennifer and Code, I don't understand. Let's go back to one day. This is one day. And for one day, what are we just checking? Just this candle. And what's that candle actually doing? That's this particular candle here. This one here now. What's the candle doing? It's selling. That's the red one is for the selling. The green is for, buy. Right, that's bullish and bearish. If you know that part. Still the same thing. If you come back to four hours, let's still look at four hours still. Still doing the same thing. The market is trending down. Sorry, I'm coming. Let me drop back. That's out there. Okay. Just come in there. Let me show you the arrow back. So you come back to four hours, it's still doing the same thing. Come back to one hour. You see, it's still going down. You can't tell me this market is trending up. It's actually going up. So for you to just know, just start from that present day. Your trading view is showing you almost everything. Same with your hourglass. We log into your hourglass too. You see that it's more clear than the hourglass. If you check your hourglass, you see it better there. So with this guy here now, you see the market is going down. It comes to 15 minutes, the same thing. It's going down. Jennifer, if you carry your trend line here and draw it from here down, you can't tell me this market is going up. It's not going up. There's no way there that it's going up. It's actually coming down. That's throughout the day. If you come to five minutes too, the same thing. The market is going down. You can't tell me it's an uptrend. It's a downtrend. So what you're actually looking at now in the market is just sell opportunities. That's you just keep looking for sell opportunities in the market. You get it. Please, do you guys understand this part now? Let me move to the next one. Okay, 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 okay. Thank God, thank God everybody's good with this one. Okay, so let me move to um, the next one, which is, let me move to the next one. I'm coming guys. Okay, so let me move to the next one, which is what? Um, let's talk about the candlestick Bible. Um, Coach Easy. I don't know if you can mute yourself. Please, can you help us drop the candlestick vibe on the group chat so that at least those that don't have it will get it? So, Jesus. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, I'll drop it. I'll drop it. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. So, I'll still show them here. So, guys, this is the candlestick Bible here. We don't know what it looks like. This is what it looks like here. See, I have it everywhere my iPad, my system, my phone. This is the candlestick Bible. It actually discloses everything you need to know about trading. That's A to Z. You can get this thing in your head. According to the guy, say we shouldn't read it like a novel. And actually, that's true. 
So I'll point out some candles that are actually important in our HFX trading. Oh, well, some people shall don't really know about that one. So guys, look at the engulfing bar candlestick pattern. Please, um, can you see, can you guys still see my screen? Okay, you can still see my screen, okay. Okay, 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 okay. So if you guys come down to this engulfing bar, candlestick pattern, this is the candlestick that actually engulfs the previous candle, that it covers up the previous candle and it, that it signals for a reversal in the markets. But it's not because it's like reversal or something that you want to jump into the market, to take the trade. Um, Dominic. Excuse me. Yes. I, I think you have some questions in the chat box which you're not actually seeing. I don't know if you can check okay. it. Let me go back. Yeah, just scroll up. Yeah, if the market is trending down, what do you want to buy up? There's no need buying up now. You just keep chatting for a sell market till so that day is over. Just keep selling. Don't buy because if you buy, that's you going against the trend of the market. Do you understand? What's her name? Vivian, do you understand? Please, how do I get the trend line? I don't understand your question. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Better. So guys, this very engulfing pattern, it engulfs the previous one. Or let me still go back to trading view so that you understand what I'm saying now. Look at this present candle now that is actually burning. This one here now. Now I see what's happening there. The market actually reversed back. It's actually tanking. So if I enter this market, I would have been clearing because this is a bearish engulfing pattern. This guy here. But still on still, guys, we are actually selling. We are not buying. And this is a very good market to get into with other confirmation from your RXI, from your boots call sign and hourglass and your RXI, your stochastic, your charts and everything there. So let's move to normal trading chart. Up. Let's leave this kind of stuff. So guys, if you get back, you really look at this because this guy is plenty. Please just do me a favor and just read at least from from 16 to like, let me see, like 30 something. Sure. Yeah, 16 to 50. Yeah, 16 to 50. Let's remember. Yeah, as you guys understand, read from 16 to 50. I think it will help you a lot to understand, but I'll still explain it though. But let me just go through. Markups. Okay, guys. So if you actually want to mark up the charts, you move to your one day. Start from your one day first. This can you guys hear me? Please, can you hear me? I'm just in the same. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, yeah, so for your chat in here now, um, there is no need looking for um the supports down. So the other one looking for now is the sale. You are looking for something to sell from. You are not buying again because the market actually trending down. So we are doing our charting, but if you want to make your full chart and this is the way you do it. The previous candle, that's I'm looking at this green candle first. Put your lines. I'm sure most everybody know about this one because it's like our primary school teaching, the academy. 
please guys i'm not marking this first candle i'm looking at the second one second candle please not the present one that is burning out now so as the previous one the previous hour the previous day let's see the previous day yeah Red. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking at the green candle. Let's place the green candle. So now you move to your one hour too, and you still repeat the same thing over and over again. But don't forget, we are not looking for the support, this resistance we are looking for now, because we want to sell. We are not buying. We want to sell. So you still keep marking the same thing again. We don't actually need the down part, but I'm just marking it up. Guys, please, if you don't understand what I'm doing, please just let me know. Let me know in the chat box, please. Any question, just ask me so I can draw back before I finish marking this one hour. Not too clear. Not too clear, not too clear. I think it's much better now. This guy, this is the candle I'm looking at here. This one here now, the one the arrow is on, please. That's the candle I'm actually charting on. I'm not looking at the third one, just that particular one. So I'm just taking the body, the week, the body, the week, the body, the week. That's just what I'm doing. So this is the one hour. That one hour, you move to your 15 minutes. 15 minutes, if you check the 15 minutes now, you find out that actually it's getting clearer. So you still come back to the 15 minutes and still do the same thing over again. You just keep marking the body, the week, the body, the week, body, the week, over and over again. These guys, do you understand what I'm saying? I'm lost, please. Where exactly? Hillary, please, where exactly are you lost? Let me go back. Well, if the second candle is red, it doesn't matter whether it's red or it's green, just keep marking second to the first candle. Eli, please, where? Okay. From daily charts and please. Sorry, from daily charting, you just do the same thing over and over again as you're marking the week and the body, the week and the body of the second to the first candle. That's the candle that is burning. The one beside it, that's just the one that we're looking at. Yeah, it's just actually the same thing. You're just marking the body and the week, the body and the week. Okay, guys, in the candle, I'm coming, let me draw out some things here. If this is the candle and this is the week, this is what the week is here. This is what I'm talking about, Hillary. Here's my arrow. This is what I'm talking about here. This is the week. This one here. As this small thing here that drops down. That is showing you the price where the market has actually gotten to. That's the buyers and sellers, you know, they are into a pass in the market. So the week is telling you that the price actually got to that area. Then the body is uh, <laughs> uh Please, um, Larry, do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. 
So let's go back to the chart and I want to be clear here. So in our 15 minutes to you still do the same thing over and over again, charts, the body, the week, the body, the week. Just keep doing the same thing over and over again. Then you come to your five minutes, you move to the five minutes, you find out that everything there is going to be much clearer. That's if you look at this thing here now, look at this, the market actually got two to two and reversed back. Stay trend. Sometimes, yes, you see. To explain how an uptrend is like, what it actually looks like, and how to get it. So, please, guys, if you understand what, what I've been saying, please. Drop some ones and you don't drop some to so no. The red horizontal line is actually called, we see it as the resistance. Then the green one is seen as the support. The red one is always on top, that's the ceiling. It's always on top, on top of the week and on top of the body. I'm just seeing only four, four people. Answering. Okay, I see that you guys do not understand what I've been saying since. Please, if you don't, tell me, I'll draw back. I don't mind. I'll draw back. Just five people. Out of 40, I'm just seeing five. So let me see for myself. Okay, still, um, let me look for. Another trade that is downtrend. Look for something to that downtrend. Coming, guys. Yeah. Yeah, uptrend, sorry. Yeah, uptrend. It's a euro. Okay. okay, let's look at this. So we'll go to our one day. So guys, in one day, what do you feel the candle is actually doing? Please, I want to get some response. The one that is just present candle, that's just the one that is burning. So what's it doing? Is that an uptrend or is it a downtrend? Is the market going up or is it coming down? Which one? Which response? The response I'll use and continue. You know, I'll just pack and be going. Downtrend, okay. Please respond, respond, down, okay. <laughs> downtrend, ha. Hello. Downtrend, okay. Consolidating. <laughs> Downtrend, okay. Show the charts now. Okay, sorry. So what's the actual thing? Is the market going up or is it coming down? This is one day. Guys, yeah, this is one day, not one hour, not five minutes or 15 minutes. So what is it doing? Is the market going up or is it coming down? Is an uptrend. Wow. Okay. Uptrend. Hey. Okay. So uptrend, uptrend, downtrend, downtrend, uptrend, uptrend, going up, downtrend. Okay, guys. Let's find out if it's an uptrend or a downtrend. So in one day, the account is actually going up. Let's go to one hour. Find out what it's actually doing there. So as I said, you move to the full day to find out what is actually doing there. Okay, somebody said consolidating bar. Okay, so in one hour here now, let's see. This is one hour, let's see 15 minutes. 15 minutes is still skyrocketing up. Five minutes. So what's he actually doing? Our answer. 
yeah, the market is actually going up, so it's an uptrend. So what we are actually looking for there now are just buyers. We're actually buying. We are not selling any markets here. We are just buying. Like we are buying. We're not looking at anything that is selling. There's nothing selling here. It's buying. So your opportunity is more here that is on buying the markets, not selling. So if there's any opportunity that's telling you to sell, please run. Just leave the market alone. But if the market is consolidating, I know you guys know what consolidates. That the market is moving sideways, like the ranging market, just going sideways. It's not going up, it's not coming down. That's a consolidating market. Something like this here. Let me see this. This is what it looks like. It's not going up, it's not coming down. The market is just moving sideways. So you see something like this. My best advice for you is to just let that pair go. Look for another thing to trade on. So guys, yeah, this market is actually going up. So we are just charting now. What we are looking at here now is the supports. That's the green areas. We are charting, we are looking at the green areas. We are not looking for any resistance again here now. We are not looking for the green side. That's support, support, support. Anything that is not support, let go. This guy. Can you hear me drop some ones though? Let me know if I'm talking to myself. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. That's nice. That's nice. Um so that's how to get your support, that's how to get your resistance, that's how to know. An uptrend and a downtrend. Trust me, if you, if you know how to get an uptrend and a downtrend, you will never have any problem in the market. If it's an uptrend, just keep buying. If it's a downtrend, just keep selling. That's just it. That is nothing really hard here. The, thing now, the problem that people have here now is that they don't actually know what the market is doing, whether it's an uptrend or a downtrend. That's where they make the mistake. It might be trending up, some people are selling. They be like, ah, this thing they're saying is not working. What every boy is saying is not working. What Lemieux is saying is not working. So just find the trend of the market and follow the market. Follow your RX, I am stochastic in hourglass. Follow the call signs. Call sign is very, very important. Um, the uptrend and downtrend, how to mark it up is keep. Marking the body and the week. If you go to um can remove section, it's February section there. Just look for markups, candlestick markups. You see everything there. You explain how to mark up the charts. Don't worry, if you're in our group chat, I'll drop the videos there for you so that you could watch it and get it. please any questions. Let me answer. I know where to go back to. Please, if you knew how to get an uptrend, as you know how to get an uptrend and a downtrend before now, please let me know. And if you no, no, please let me know too. Oh, you knew. Ah, wow. Jesus Christ, plenty. Maybe you just left me here since the show. <laughs> Are just three people. Huh? Yeah, I do. Okay. okay. Yeah, so please, I just broke it down in layman's way so that those that just end up a new base here will at least understand what an uptrend and downtrend is. Guys, most please don't joke we can remove. Please, these, these sections are very, very wonderful. That's where you get everything you need. I don't know, please go over it again. Network is breaking down. Um, Coach Easy. Coach Easy. What's up, I can hear you. Yeah, please. Um, the section has been recorded, Bar. Yeah, it's been recorded. Sure. Oh, okay, okay. Um so later, Coach Easy will drop the videos for us to watch so that you get everything I said here. Okay, guys. Let's do it. If both candles are the same color, that's the previous one is red and the present one is red, just keep marking the previous candle. Forget the present one. The present one is moving, the moving candle. 
anything that is moving doesn't let it grow because it's actually following what the previous candle did. The market is just repeating itself over and over again. That's just one thing you need to understand. So if you can flow with the markets and the trend of the markets, you just keep clearing every day. Like you keep clearing every day, you will do the trade. That's just it. So guys, um, I'm sure with what at least I've said now, you'll be able to understand the support, resistance, trend of the markets and other things too. So thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome, no problem. Yeah, the kind of stick by, we don't want to drop it on the group chat, we get it. Thank you, thank you.